Uh, hello and welcome, my fellow strays, to another video here. Um, today I am backed up quite a bit. I have a lot of stuff I need to go over, a lot of videos I have to make. Um, because I just don't have enough free time, dude. It's like I actually have a job, so I have to actually work. And then when I get off of work, I'm kind of tired because I actually do a work. So it's like when I'm tired, I don't after coming home from work, don't normally want to make a video then. Not my most awake point, right? So I usually try to save making videos for my days off. And the problem with that, uh, my day off, dude. Uh, so let me tell you <laughs> what happened on my day off. No, I'm kidding. But... Uh, but the problem with that is, uh, you tend to get a little behind. So, I have quite a few videos I gotta make. Uh, this is number one, uh, of, what, I think three that I'm gonna be making, hopefully. In quick succession, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so, I know everyone already talked about it anyway. I mean, I'm not, obviously I'm like the last one. To the party, I guess I'm still GTG's line and say always late. <laughs> but uh, this is all about uh, how DSP doesn't realize that he is inter inadvertently uh, insulting people. Like, he just doesn't realize that when he speaks about anything, when he opens his big, fat, stupid mouth, he's always inadvertently insulting people. And He's like, I don't see why they're mad at me. I don't know why they're mad at me. Uh, because you insulted him. And you don't even realize it because you just do it all the fucking time. Right? So this is about the Asmund Gold thing. But actually... Nope, stop. Before I do that, I want to bring up this one. Super but anyway, quick. I digress. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm a little... Out of source. Okay, so <laughs> before I get into the Asmund Gold stuff, I want to remind everyone of what happened back in the day. This wasn't actually that long ago, was it? So it wasn't that long back in the day. What was this like a year? Yeah, it's less than a year ago this happened. So this is not the first time this is happening with DSP. He has a history of not real of accident quote-unquote, accidentally, because, like, you could give it two ways, right? You could say, oh, he's being a douche, he knows exactly what he's doing, and he's, like, intentionally insulting people. Or you could look at it the other way, and it's like, he doesn't even, like, he's just talking so much all the time, he doesn't even realize that he's in inadvertently insulting people, right? I don't think he's doing it on purpose. I really don't. I think he's just so used to talking about whatever is on his mind that he and he's so socially inept that he doesn't realize that what comes out of his mouth can sometimes be perceived as an insult to by other people because other people are normal and like are used to talking in the real world space and he isn't because obviously he doesn't leave his house but for once a week uh well, yeah once a week so he doesn't realize that the shit that he says um, can be taken different ways. So I honestly don't think it's an intentional thing he's doing. But let me bring... Uh, before I get into the Asmund Gold stuff, I wanted to play this video really quick. Over the years, I fell out of love with the Street Fighter community, and I decided to do my own thing on YouTube, and that's fine, right? So I'm this sure tweet, some first people First of all, I want to clarify just to show you this tweet. It's on my Twitter account. This is not me responding directly to this guy in any of kind of a manner. This is just something for me posting for my own followers on my own Twitter account. Yeah, he quote this is not retweeted it. For anyone else to take it any other way, this is me relaying to you guys who know me on my, on my history. You know I've fallen out of love with competitive Street Fighter. You know that Street Fighter 6 was the first time I actually played Street Fighter in a bajillion years in any competitive capacity, right? You know <clears throat> all about my history. So all this is is a reiteration of that, you know? I'm basically saying, when I was in my youth, I aspired to have something like this game room. Now, here I am, 40 years old. I have no aspirations whatsoever to have anything like that. And now I see a ton of people. See, if he ended it right there, it would have been fine. And now that I'm 40, I have no aspirations for having something like that. If he just ended it right fucking there, it would have been fine. But he has to add that last sentence. And that last sentence 
is what gets him in fucking trouble because he doesn't fucking realize that it's the last sentence is a fucking insult. Who aren't even necessarily like prominent big players in the competitive fighting community, just normal gamers are wanting to have cool arcade game rooms like this. Go That's not how it came off though, Phil. That's not what you wrote. He says, uh, it's super blurry for some fucking reason, but it says, now at 40, I have zero desire for it. And I see countless people who... Wait. Actually, I'm squinting because I'm having a hard time seeing that. Oh, yeah. But I see countless people who do have it who have never played competitively. competitively. Uh... What's the last one? Who has never played competitively? Go figure. Something. Who have never played competitively. Go figure. No. Never played competitively. Something. Something. Go figure. So he's insulting the guy. By basically saying. Like even though he knows nothing about this fucking guy. And is greatly assuming. And then he's like. Yo. Well I always like. I see countless people who uh, never played competitively. But they have all these fancy arcade. Like fighting game arcade machines right and this guy was a competitive uh fighting game player um so of course like he gets offended because dsp is just making wild ass uh, assumptions just because he doesn't know who the guy is or whatever right but that doesn't automatically mean that he's not a fighting game player competitive fighting game player just because you don't know who it is so he's in so if he would have been fine if he just left out that last uh fucking sentence but we all know him he has to like get the last word and doesn't realize why people are mad we'll figure how, how society has changed and and like as you can see he's already like changing the narrative by uh by phrasing it differently than what he actually wrote it back as. in the day this was the exception to the rule this was like an oddity that you would have that someone would go to your house and see that and be like what are you a weirdo do you have a game room in your house what are you doing Today, it's cool. You post the old about it on Savan, Twitter, right? thumb oh, wow, over look here. at this. I have a game room at my house. This is neat. And like I said, it's not just people that are prominent top players. Everyone's doing it. And that's cool. You know, even got celebrities that like, don't not, even styles. That's not what your sentence says, though. It doesn't say anything about prominent top player. It just says who have never played competitively. That's what it says. And that's what pissed him off. Pro wrestler. He absolutely loves Arcade games? He has a whole arcade in his house. Is he known as a competitive gamer? No. But he loves it. It's his hobby. You don't and, you know, know who and who is in a competitive wrestling. fighting so game. So now, player, this has become a lot more prominent and a lot more mainstream. <clears throat> and all I'm doing is making an observation that when I was a kid, right, this was kind of something to aspire to if you were part of the FGC. If you had a room like this, you made it. Even if you're a top player or not, if you had a room like that, people would be jealous of you. Wow, you made it. Wow, this is cool. Because you made it to the top of the FGC. You can have your own game set up. You could practice at home instead of having to go to the arcades, right? So, there's no dig here. There's no insult whatsoever. Doesn't matter how you interpret it. It's not what it is. At face value, it's something for my own followers to digest. It's in context to things that I say and do on my own streams, right? That's all it is. Again, I don't know this guy from a hole in the wall. I literally Obviously know nothing not, about him. Obviously not, but you still fucking insulted him by making wild assumptions about him, by insinuating that he wasn't a competitive fighting game player when he was. That's why he was profile. mad. I didn't look at nothing. I just saw this post on Twitter and said, oh, that's kind of interesting. This guy has a really cool game room. That's not what you that at one point in my life. That's not what you said, though. And now uh, he's getting, he was getting, he was, because it's in the past, but he was getting pushback, and the guy responded, upset, obviously, because you insulted him, and now you're trying to change what you actually meant to, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. What I meant was, it doesn't matter what you meant. That's what you said at the time, and that's why he got mad. Because DSP doesn't think before he fucking talks. He just fucking talks all the time, puts words in other people's mouths, makes vast assumptions of other people. Like I wanted. I don't. I, here I am, forty years old. It's the last thing I would want in my life. I wouldn't want a game cabinet in my house. You know what I mean? So that's all it is. It's innocent observation. The first part was innocent. The last sentence was an insult, Phil. If you had stopped before the last sentence, it would have been fine. And no one would have gotten a mad. Comparison of me, uh, uh, as younger versus older. All right, Black Lady walking goodbye. You're out. And anyone else is gonna say that it's a dig. You're out. Just just leave now. It is a dig though. You're here for an agenda, and I'm not gonna put up with your bullshit. An agenda. Okay, okay you too. You're here for goodbye. an agenda. Here it is, because here it is. Here's all the sneak dissing idiots.
Okay. And there's no need to be sneak dissing anyway, because it is an insult, Phil. And he's too stupid that he doesn't realize that the last fr uh, sentence is the Here's insult. One, two, here we go. Goodbye. And you too. And by the way, these are all the sneak dissing regulars that sit here. And they just sit here doing this constantly. They're gone and they're not coming back. Don't even ask to come back. Because now, here's what I get to do. Okay. <clears throat> Thank God, right? Thank God that I can now look at this nonsense and get these idiots out of here. And we can have a good day without this bullshit, right? Well, you couldn't this do not, that before. This is not a dig. You're an idiot if you think it is. Like, no, I'm going to be very transparent with you now, okay? If you think that's a dig, you're genuinely stupid. Like, you don't have a leg to stand on. You're a moron. And now he's going to these wild black and white uh, situations where it's like, no, everyone can't have, like, their own fucking, like, opinions on different shit. No, it's only black and white, and uh, it's black and white, dude, and I'm always right because I'm always white. So, uh, <laughs> I'm always right, and uh, if you think otherwise, you're a fucking mentally ill detractor moron. And you need to genuinely get some help, dude. I don't know. Typical, like, alt-right kind of thinking behavior, too. You notice that? Oh, the guy. I'm not taking a dig at him. It's an observation based on my own history, my own experience in life. The fr most of it is not a dig. But that last part turns it into a dig. And he's so socially inept and socially awkward that he doesn't realize that right it's even me talking about me today versus me when i was younger right it has nothing to do with that, that guy whatsoever. i could have taken a the picture from anyone's part. home arcade <clears throat> it had nothing to do with a dig at anyone all right no insult was in intended and yeah it doesn't it doesn't matter if it was intended or not like a dig can still be a dig even if it was not intended and I think it's kind of obvious, at least I feel, that it was not intended to be a dig. At least this particular one was not intended to be a dig. But the way he worded it, with the last sentence, it came off to everyone that is of normal social interaction, that it came off as a dig or a slight against this man that he doesn't even know. Now, I don't think he intended it that way, but he's so stupid um, and socially inept, autism, whatever you want to call it, that he doesn't realize it comes off as a dick, right? So, and now he's doubling down and saying, uh, you're a fucking moron if you think, somehow think this is a dick and, uh, it's black and white and it's only my way or the highway and get the fuck out, you know? It's in my own Twitter. I didn't go to his Twitter and respond. He can still see it, though. When you quote retweet a tweet, they can still see what you say. Because if someone quote retweets one of my tweets, I can still see what the fuck he says. And it's still showing on your Twitter that this guy here uh, isn't a competitive fighting game player, but he still has this cool arcade. And it kind of comes across also as jealousy. In his own timeline, I did it on mine. If you Doesn't think that's a dig, you you're genuinely stupid, and you have no place on my stream. And you're gone. I just banned four or five people who are regulars. No, they're regular sneak dissing idiots, and they're out, and they're not coming back. I'm happy about this. Okay. So now let's continue. All right? So, you know, I think nothing of it, of course. Why would I think anything of it? You know, I go to sleep, and I wake up this morning, and this is what I wake up to, of course. Of course, my timeline has to be full of disgusting insults and nasty shit, but not just from this person, but a million others. So here it is. The guy insults me out of nowhere. I did not insult him. Out of nowhere, you insinuated that he was not a competitive fighting game player, but had all these arcade stuff. Like, and the fact that he was a competitive fighting game player, obviously he gets a little tilted, a little insulted because of that. So yeah, he's going to re... re 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 oh, I totally blanked on that. Wait, what? Retribute? No, retribute? I He's going to fire back at you. <laughs> I didn't take a dig at him. I don't know who this person is, right? No idea. Let's insult this guy, right? Let's insult Phil because it's easy to do because it's... It's not... He would not have insulted you if you did not dig at him first. It's the same thing. Now, now here's a couple things I have to this say about This is fucking first ridiculous. Of, all right? It's not like this is the first time this has happened. It's not the last time this is going to happen. This is regular. Oh, yes. 
Phil never deserves any kind of uh, insults whatsoever. It's all because we're getting clout. Look, I'm probably going to get maybe 30 or 40 views on this video and that's it. But yes, I'm doing this only for clout because I'm making hundreds of dollars on every fucking video I make on him, right? No, I'm not monetized, Phil. I'm not making any money on you. I have my own job. I'm not insulting you needlessly because you don't deserve it or because it's a meme. You fucking deserve it. And it's not even just that. I'm here to, more to react and try to break down the insanity, the delusions that are in your life. You literally don't live in the same world and the reality that the rest of us do. And it shows. But he's over here thinking like, oh yeah, this guy just uh, shit on me for no reason whatsoever because it's the in thing to do. And that's not the case. On the internet. People are you toxic You dug at him first. I don't know. You insulted him. I don't know who this him. guy is. I didn't insult him. I'm not. You did. Because you insinuated that he was not a competitive fighting game player, but still had all this shit. When you knew nothing about him, and you didn't realize that he was a competitive fighting game toxic player. Toxic to him at all. I know nothing at all about this guy. Let's insult Phil, right? But the thing that gets me about it, all right, is that the hilarious part about it is it's the same fucking meme again. It's not even like you could take a dig and be like, yeah, well, you sucked at Street Fighter 6. Yeah, I did. Like, I would be like, you got me. I was terrible this weekend at Street Fighter 6. He still sucks at Street Fighter 6, by the way. That has not changed since the game actually came out. It wasn't until out. my sixth session that I finally clicked and I started to understand game mechanics of Street Fighter 6 and shit like that, right? He literally takes a dig based on something from 2005 that's been factually disproven <clears throat> time and time and time again. And he rolls with this meme... How has it been disproven, Phil? Because you came out and said otherwise? That's not disproving anything. That's a whole nother issue that I've talked about at length ad nauseum. And probably will continue to do so. The fact that he thinks that just because he says something otherwise or to the contrary automatically disproves it when that's not the case. That's just you coming up with excuses to defend your idol your title, your fourth place at evil win even though the PS1 version was fucked and so many people boycotted that Evo turn championship because of that. And then they kick your ass after the show anyway on the actual version. So that never dies, matter. even though it's false. It's a false narrative. How is it so false, Phil? If you ask me nicely, ESP, I can turn the PS1 version of Super Turbo on my cabinets so you can reminisce on the, the last time you were ever relevant in this community. Right? <laughs> so it's an insult. Basically, he's saying no you're shit. only relevant in the broken PS5, PS1 version of Super Turbo. Okay. <clears throat> As if I haven't responded to this enough. All right? <laughs> Allow this to be my formal response to every dim-witted person on the internet who wants to use this meme. Okay? You ready? This is my formal response. Okay? And they wouldn't even make fun of you so much for it if you weren't gloating to the entire fighting game community that you were the number one North American fighting game champion that year at EVO. That's why they do it still to this day, Phil. It's because you gloated and you're like, well, because I was beaten by uh, foreigners, those filthy foreigners over there, because of that, um, well, I was the number one North American player that year, dude. Like, he had that in his signature on those stupid fucking forum websites. The... Oh, God, I can't remember what the hell the name of those websites. It was like Shoryuken forums or whatever it was. Like, he had that on his fucking, and like, on his, like, either in his name or like in the signature or something like that. And so, obviously, it still bothers him because, like, that's why people still make the meme of it. And it's a true meme anyway. You can't disprove it, Phil. Because you say otherwise, it's not disproving anything. In the time that it took you to boot up, PS1 Super Turbo, which, by the way, it's hilarious you have it. Why do you have it? <laughs> I don't have it. Because it's free and anyone could download it and it would take, like, five minutes to download? That's why? I mean, he probably doesn't actually have it installed, but he could probably add it to it easily. I'm the one who apparently gets all the clout about this version of the game, and I don't have it, but you have it, okay? In the time that it took you to do this and boot this up and take a picture and post it on your Twitter to insult me for internet clout... You could have taken literally a fraction of that time to use your digits and go on the internet and look up the fact that 
it wasn't just that time that I placed in Super Turbo. That over the course of a two... No, but that's the biggest time, and that was the last time you were relevant. That's why he is saying, after that loss in EVO, you weren't really relevant after that fact, though, dummy. That's what he's saying. That was your last big thing. Your last big success, if you want to call it a success. That's why he's saying. Two and a half year period after that. I was one of the top ranked Super Turbo players in every version of the game ever that was played in tournament. All right. That's a lie. A huge fucking lie. Maybe on the East Coast. And even then that's pushing it because he said that T was better than him. I'm sure other people were better than him at that. So that's a huge fucking lie right there. He was not the best person at the game ever in the whole fucking country or in the whole world. That's such a fucking lie. PS1. Every version of PS2, including Anniversary Edition, as well as the Capcom Classics Collection 2. Okay? Dreamcast versions that were run. Arcade versions that were run. I mean, hell, there's footage of me beating Seth Killian in the finals of EVO East on YouTube right now. Hell, you can look at tournament results and you can see in 2007. I won so many tournaments in Super Turbo during the EVO qualification season. I had like seven qualification spots for EVO. But you didn't make it into EVO except for that one time. And that's the time that counts. And on the time that counts, you still fucked it up and lost at, four, at fourth place. So it doesn't matter how many qualifications you got. It doesn't, what matters is like if you made it into Evo or not. And you did one time and you fucked it up. Well, finals. They had to give other people my spots because I would have been entered into the finals like five times. I would have been playing myself. Okay? They had to give. Still makes you a fourth place loser though, Phil, doesn't it? Because it doesn't matter about qualifications at all what matters is if you got in or not and when you did get in you fuck other people lower ranking people spots oh by the way it wasn't just me playing competitive in super turbo it was also me being a tournament organizer i ran tons of tournaments on the east coast including the biggest tournament on the east coast east coast championships it was me and josh wigfall teaming up to run it and with Chris josh Cotty wigfall probably Jersey. did a lot more we ran work it the biggest one did. people absolutely loved the tournament we got nothing but positive feedback Okay, so when you like to use this meme, the, the only time you were ever prominent was a broken version of PS1. Instead of doing this, all right, and embarrassing. That's not, that's not what he's saying. Do you read the title? He's saying the last time you were relevant in the community. The last time, Phil. He's not saying that was the only time you were relevant. He's saying it was the last time you were relevant. You see how he's putting words in other people's fucking mouths? To try to change it to make him like come out on top. That's not what he's fucking saying. Sing yourself. Do this. And actually look at something on the fucking internet for five seconds. Uh, because this is Yeah, you maybe you should actually look at the tweet again and actually read what it says and have some uh reading comprehension, Phil. Why about that? Obviously embarrassing. Okay, it is. Jesus. I'm not gonna argue with you that I'm not prominent anymore. I'm not relevant anymore. I don't claim to be. When did I say I was relevant in the FGC, right? Anytime that I say anything about the FGC, it's some fringe opinion from some wild old man, right? No one listens to me. <laughs> no one cares. I know that. I'm in my own lane, way the fuck over here away from you. All right? Understand that. And by the way, I want to be away from you. I don't want to be involved. Because here's the thing. This is the modern FGC. You guys ask me all the time, Phil, do you want to be part of the FGC again? Would you ever go back to competitive Street Fighter? Here is your answer. No, this is why I wouldn't want to be, because this is everything wrong with the modern FGC. Disrespectful, right? Incorrect. And now he's like pretending that he was super respectful when he was in the FGC. Phil, you were the most toxic piece of shit in the FGC back then, Phil. We have so many videos of like you were a walking fucking joke in ATM in the FGC because of how toxic you were. So what the fuck are you I'm not even willing about? to spend five seconds looking up anything on the internet to actually find out what they're talking about. Only in it for the clout and for the clicks, right? Because no one's going to correct this guy, right? No one's going to say, what are you talking about? DSP was actually very prominent for several years. He ran. No one's going to do that because that's not what he was fucking saying. And you're taking it totally fucking differently than what he actually that's said. Right. No one's going to say that. All they're going to say is, oh, he's a joke. Because <laughs> this is what they do. You are a joke. You know what I'm saying? This and is it's exactly not just what for they that. do. Um, and he wouldn't have done any of this. Like, this is what I'm trying to show. Uh, yeah, this is a year ago almost. Nine months ago, right? That this happened. 
And it feels like it was years and years ago at this point, because so much shit has happened since then, right? But when I'm trying to... I'm showing this for a reason. And I hope you appreciate... I hope you appreciate uh, the work that I'm doing going back in time like this. Because I'm trying to set a damn precedence that he does this all the fucking time. He's, he creates his own drama, be it uh, intentionally or not intentionally, which I don't think it's intentional, but he just can't keep other, he can't help himself from like insulting people. And then he doesn't even realize he's insulting the people because he just fucking talks so much and doesn't like he lacks the social cues that most humans do. And then he wonder complains and wonders why everyone hates him and talks shit about him all the time. And it's like, because you fucking insulted them first, dumbass. This guy wouldn't have even fucking talked about you or made this tweet if uh, you didn't fucking insult him in the first place, you dumb shit. This is the modern FTC. So what incentive would I have? And the modern FTC seems a lot like the past D uh, FTC when you were the same fucking type of person. Even if not worse, you were worse, Phil. Because you would just go around talking all this mad shit. And then you got your fucking ass handed to you. Uh, talking so much shit that people literally wanted to come up and throw hands with you. And you had to run and cry and hide in the fucking bathroom. And uh, cry that you're fucking uh, drunk. And that's why you were talking so much shit. So you could fucking pity them out of fighting with you. To try to get good again or... You know, anything. Oh, by the way, as stupid as it is, obviously, if I ever played this guy in Super Turbo, I would wipe the fucking floor with him in any version. Oh, yes, yeah, so of I mean? course. The dumbest sure argument are. ever. Like, in the little time that you were pertinent. Yeah, but to this day, I was, I'm the person who every week is playing old school Street Fighter. I played the fucking 30th anniversary collection. Yeah, you're playing um, old school Street, you were playing old school Street Fighter on a piss poor um, console version of the game that has no one but noobs to fight with. Because the actual fighting game players are in Fightcade. They're not on that console port version. So again, you're repeating history by doing the same fucking thing. I'm thinking you're tough shit because you're playing the 30th anniversary edition instead of going on to Fightcade where the actual fighting game competitors are. Because you know you'd get your ass handed to you if you actually went there. But he's over here pretending he's the only motherfucker playing Street Fighter 2 in the world and keeping it alive somehow shut the fuck up once a week for four years even though it sucked i'm still playing the capcom fighting collection to this day i'm trying to keep it alive when no one else is playing oh it's plenty alive on fightcade phil why don't you go online to fightcade and play it there because that's where all the whole community moved to and he's over here in this dingy little cellar playing 30th anniversary he's like there's no one to play with, man. No one's playing Street Fighter at all anymore. When there's a huge fucking happening party right next door playing in a fightcade. And he's over here and didn't get the fucking memo that everyone else is over on fightcade. He's like, I'm the only one keeping this game alive. Is this like a rock? Like a huge fucking party going on playing the same game, but on fucking fightcade. I'm the one sticking up for old school Street Fighter. You see the fucking go ahead, ego your here? Man, get your clout clicks, you know. Because it's all it is. It's like, th why would I want to be part of that community? This right here, this post is a prime example of everything wrong with the modern FGC. They live in their own bubble. And you were a prime example of what was everything wrong with the past FGC. So, and at the same time, he wouldn't have done this in the first place if you didn't insult they him. They live in their fantasy world. They don't want to respect anything. They don't want to research anything. They just want to be in it for the memes and the clout. That's it. They're in it for the lulls. I'm not, sorry. That's not what I'm about. It's never what I was about. You in it for saying? the lulls, uh, dude. For me, it was about the love of the I'm game. a millennial I fellow teenagers. Fighter. The reason What's I did that? it is because I loved it. It was such a great, awesome, competitive feeling. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with people from all over the world. Learning and absorbing. You weren't you standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, though, though, Phil. You weren't day, that all, good. All of the shit-talking and all of the drama that would ever happen in the FGC. At the end of the day, after the match, you shake the hand and you walk away. And it's that simple. All right? These people aren't about that, man. These people are all about the instant dig, the instant clout. Oh, I got over. Look. In my day, we acted and behaved better. Kids today just don't get it. What I got over on, Phil. Good for you. This is you such beat up an innocent man. Talk. Did nothing to you. I didn't dig on you. I like your arcade.
You dug on him. You insulted him because he was, in fact, a competitive fighting game player, and you insinuated that he wasn't. I think it's cool. Really. I think you have a nice home system. I, You know, one day... I and now he's playing the victim. Did you hear that? Let me bring that back really quick. Maybe. People have, have the ability. I think you have an innocent man who did nothing to you. Instant clout. Oh, I got over. Look what I got over on Phil. Good for you. You beat up an innocent man who did Oh, he's an innocent man. He did nothing wrong. He's just an innocent old man. And you beat up on him, even though he threw the first stone and insulted him, him first. But how dare you... Uh, God, I'm still missing that fucking word. What is the fuck is it? It's like, retribute, re redis not redistribute. It's like, retaliate. That's the fucking word I was looking at. Are you looking for it? God, my brain is so slow sometimes. How dare you retaliate against me when I insulted you first? That's the fucking... God damn it, my brain sucks. Nothing to you. I didn't dig on you. I like your arcade. I think it's cool. Really. I think you have a nice home system. I, You know, one day, I hope a lot of people have, have the ability to have something like that, you know? And you should be proud that you put together this and, you know, however you did it. Like I said, when I was younger, I, I wanted something like that too. There's nothing wrong with that. I wasn't insulting you. So why did you insult yes, me? Yes, you were. Kind of a person? You were right, insulting him. Up. It really is fucked up to think. And then everyone responded, oh, he got it. He got a dig on DSP. He, it's like and, and that's a fucked up thing with narcissists is they literally believe their own BS. So he honestly, it's not like he's lying here. He just is so delusional that he honestly thinks he did nothing wrong. And he's like, why is so everyone making fun of me? I didn't do anything. When he, he wouldn't, this guy would not have responded the way he did if you didn't insult him first. But you dug at him first, and they retaliate against you, and then you cry innocent and victim and oh innocent old man and everything. I'm just no, I'm like I'm the victim here, and I'm like no, you're not because you're the one who instigated this whole fucking mess, and this is an ongoing situation. This isn't a one-time fucking thing. We're about to see with Asmund Gold. You did the same fucking thing. And it just causes more and more drama because you don't know how what the fuck you're talking about. You don't think before you talk. And you just fucking say all this, like, offensive shit that, like, or insinuations or whatever. And that ends up being, like, a dig that people take offense to. Thousand retweets and shit. It's like, what is your problem? Like, do you not understand how dumb you all are? I guess not. And that's the modern FGC. So why the fuck would I want to be a part of you? Yeah, but right? they don't like, understand how dumb they are. Why would I, anything to you? Why would I go, go anywhere right. near you? I'll stay home. I'll play the games online. I'll rage at the fucking dropped inputs and the lag and all the bullshit. And I'll suck at them. And I'll, I'll have fun, <clears throat> you know, with my audience. And, and that's fine. If I don't have to be, be blatantly insulted for no fucking reason. And then he, like, turtles up and, like, hides in his own little fucking hug box with his own community of dents that do nothing but kiss his ass. And this just, like, makes him more and more hermit. Every time something like this happens, he, like, turtles up more and more in his own shell. And that just ends up hurting him in the in the long run anyway. And that just further pushes his um, downfall even closer. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. You're like, And after that, like, fucking interview that he had, he's never going to do another video again. He's probably never going to do another collab again. That's just going to hurt him more and more in the long run. So, like, he turtles up because he honestly thinks that all these people are like, just shitting on him constantly when they're doing so for a reason. And the reason is you insulted them first. At all, right? You made vast assumptions on the person when you didn't know anything about them, and they took offense to that. And that's why. Fuck it. I'll stay away. But understand, this mentality is the reason why everyone calls your community toxic. This is exactly what... No, the mentality you had when you were in the fighting game community was why the community was toxic. It was because of you. Why? This is why, right now you can search on YouTube for, oh, the FGC embarrasses itself again compilation. The FGC is cringeworthy compilation. And you see million view videos about how bad the FGC is. Congratulations, you're the poster child now. This is why. You're because you act like an idiot. Someone who literally did nothing to you, let's take a stab at him for no good reason. You, you did something to no him, Phil. Reason. It Congrats. wasn't You are not innocent. an embarrassment. Good for you. I don't know what else to say, you know. I don't. I can see here we can have an e-dick measuring contest all fucking day. It doesn't matter if it matters. 
<laughs> None of this matters at all. Why even bother with it? Just because you think you're going to get some clout clicks, right? All right, we're not going after that one yet. We're going to go back to this one. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth. Squeeze now we're going to current day. Feel it comes in the <laughs> Squeeze banana. All right. So, by the way, I'm just going to say this now, and I'm going to start mentioning it on streams. Uh, I've said it before, but people don't listen, so I just want to reiterate, and I want to make this a new rule on my stream. Okay, get ready for this. All right? My streams are my own. My streams are my business. Okay? Literally, they're my business. Like, this is my job. Okay? They're so angry that I do this for a living, and they have to go work their shitty fucking 9-to-5 job or whatever it is. If I feel the need to mention things such as, hey guys, would you like to support the stream or whatever, and mention the ways you can support or anything like that, that's my prerogative. It's not yours. It's not your business to bring up, oh, look, I think it's a slow stream tonight and people should support and stuff like that. That's literally not your Something place nor your job. It's not appreciated and a lot of people get annoyed by it. So it's a new rule. You are not allowed to mention a slow night. You are not allowed to mention that people need to stop. It's not a new rule though, Phil. You, you brought this up years ago you this has always been supposedly a rule that you've always had was about this you dummy step up and contribute if i see that kind of behavior on my streams that is a moderating action in which case you will be timed out and or banned from the stream just as if you broke any other rule it's my stream my choice if i want to bring that up if you keep bringing it up you're out of here it's that simple i'm the exception to the rule all right <laughs> now the thing is has it been a rule before? It has, but it's never been like a rule that I outright spoke and said stop. You know, sometimes I saw people doing it too much. I would mention it. I mean, his rules but are kind of simple you know, as it is anyway be because it's like to all night. And there's some most trolls of the time who come he ignores all his rules like anyway. regular viewers, and then they'll just say that shit all night because they want to annoy like people. And if it was like a high-paying pay, 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 so pay I'm sure it, they're not going to get moderated. DSP cult leader. All right, so I'm going to remove Evil Ann because Evil Ann is literally saying every troll contrary and thing possible. Everyone else tonight saying, hey, the volume was too lo loud, lower it. They're just sitting there saying, oh, the volume's too low, like it louder. So you can say goodbye and never come back. Okay. <sighs> Bye, Dad. Lord Prince Albert says, have I ever been so drunk I fought a goat? No. The drunkest I ever was was probably in the first half of the 2000s. I was working as a um, intern at a life insurance company and Internal. they flew us out to their annual meeting and while we were staying at the hotel they had us go to uh, like a, a party at another hotel with other workers like, from the company and I drank and I so much an ass out of myself. that I lost I, I forgot where I was and I just wanted to pass out because I was so tired because I drank so much so I was like oh I'm going to leave this hotel and go to the other hotel by myself and get to the room and pass out but I didn't know how to do that so I was leaving and I was like, where do I go? And I was so drunk. I was like, well, I don't want to use the elevator because I'm too drunk. So I walked into the stairs of the hotel. You know how each hotel is like emergency stairs. So I was in there and I like half passed out for like a half an hour because I was so tired. What the fuck? I didn't, and then I woke up in like a half an hour and I was still drunk, like real drunk. But I was looking, I was like, what the fuck? Like, where am I? And like, why am I here? This is bad. If I get lost here, I'll never find my way around. <laughs> So then I went back to the, the hotel room where the party was, and I was lucky because like we were nearing the end of the, the party or whatever, and everyone was getting ready to go. I was like, oh shit, if I was just in here, no one would have ever known where I was. I would have slept drunk in this stairwell overnight and had to find my way back to the hotel across the other side of town by myself, and I didn't even know how to get there. That like, would have been hilarious. <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, what the hell is going on here? That was the drunkest I ever was. I just completely lost lost my, my bearings of who I was or where I was or what I was doing. Now I get questions like, no well, how does Asmund Gold do this or this or this? How do I know? Am I fucking Asmund Gold? Do I watch his content? I have no idea. I know nothing about the guy. Maybe he streams way more than me because he has that ability. Maybe. I don't know. I'm here six days a week full time. So I don't know how he... And I know, like... <laughs> uh, uh, gee, let me uh, just quickly uh, say something here, dude. Um, Asmund Gold does it because he doesn't pause the game every five seconds. Or have a two-hour fucking pre-stream talking about random shit and actually likes games and actually plays the game. So, that's why. He doesn't pause the game every five fucking seconds or anything. He could be streaming, you know, seven to days a week, more than full-time, 
I don't know. You tell me. You watch him, not me, right? I just told I you, Phil. a question like that? <laughs> I'm the last person to ask. I pay no attention to many of my contemporaries because uh, I try to do my own thing, right? What? No, I'll, okay, I'll ask an honest question because Dex says, you're stern in regards to your schedule. A lot of others aren't. They stay around till 3 a.m. They'll do 15 hours for three days to finish a game in three days. Do they not have families and or lives or responsibilities outside of streaming? I do. Like, if I played games for three straight days for 15 hours, I would never see my wife. Like, never. She'd probably be really grateful for that, I'm just saying. And just because you have a partner and a pet doesn't really make that a family. I know he loves to keep rubbing that in the dense heads that, like, I have a family. I'm special. I'm like, no, you're not, Phil. Everyone fucking has a family if we're going by your logic here. So, <laughs> I would have no time to spend with my, my family. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, But you would have a lot more money. How the hell I are mean, they living they a life if they're sitting at their computer rather, for 18 hours for three days? I'm sure Cat would probably rather have more money than spending more time with you. They straight. Then they're not spending any time with their family at all. So, I don't understand that. And again, you know... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm asking. I'm not criticizing. I'm genuinely asking. And just being real talk with you guys. What kind of a life is that? If they're literally just on their streams endlessly and they never leave. Plus, by the way, you know that's incredibly unhealthy, right? Like, you should be taking time away, moving around, doing things off center, just sitting sedentary for 18 plus hours in one day. That's horrible for your health. Haseo says, that sounds like the life of someone who's single. I mean, maybe, but it's funny because people are like, no, they're, they're married. It's like, okay, so they're married, but do they actually have, like, a life is my question. If you, if, like, let's say, for example, when Diablo came out, I literally just sat here for three straight days and only played Diablo for 18 hours for three days, and we beat the story in three days. I would not spend time with my family. I wouldn't be eating meals or being healthy. I would actually probably feel like shit after doing that. You don't have to go that far, though. All you have to do is not do a pre-stream that takes two hours, not take so many fucking breaks, not pause and go off on ran random tangents like you're doing now, and actually play the fucking game. But he doesn't actually like games. I'd argue he maybe never did. And he's only doing this because it's easy. It's easier than doing, like, a 9 to 5. And he thinks he's so much better than people who actually do have a normal job. So that's and my wife would probably be furious that I didn't even spend any time with her at all. I Same doubt thing, you know, that. Though. She'd be doing everything in the house, all the chores, all the responsibility. This motherfucker doesn't do any chores in the house. So come on, let's be serious. The only chore he might actually do is taking the garbage to the fucking curb, and that's probably it. Because she's the one who has to cook. She's the one who has to clean. Like the only thing he's doing is taking the garbage out. Arguably, and even then, I doubt. Well, I'm just sitting here fucking streaming a game for three straight days. You understand? So, how do they do it? I don't know. You'd have to go ask them. But I'm just telling you from a realist perspective, there's no way I could maintain a, realist, a real life okay. if I was sitting here playing. Phil, you're like the most per you're like you're the least person to talk about realism because you like live in your own fucking world, your own gated, imaginary world that's like outside of actual reality. So I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I had to do, you know, work-life balance is something that I had to adopt because I didn't used to do it. You remember back in the day when I was single? That's exactly how I treated it. I kind of can't hear I you. Was like, hey, I'll just do whatever and I'll play endlessly and I'll beat a game in two, three days. But that's because I literally had nothing to do. I had no family, no responsibilities. I just he had no family. So he didn't have any parents, didn't have a stepsister, didn't have an aunt or anything like that. He had no family, right? Because family only means family if you have a wife, a fat ass wife at home, and one cat. Only that means family, not if you have parents or siblings or anything like that. That's not actually family. Family means fat ass wife at home. Fuck around God. endlessly. And now I, I, I'm different. I'm grown up, man. You know, I'm different. I got a different I'm life better. Now, which I love. I love my life. Oh, yes. It's super duper yeah. fun to have that kind of a life. And that's what I've always wanted. People became so... It's fun to have that kind of... It's fun to be an adult for once, finally, guys. 
It's so much fun. Who talks this way? Who talks like he literally is like has the brain of a child inside the body of a 40 year old fat guy who's like role playing as an adult. He's literally playing house all the time. It's fucking crazy. He's literally playing a house with fat cat as like uh, his wife and his cat Jasper as his son. And he's like role playing as a family in this fancy picket white fence house, like in this gated community. I have a real job too, guys. So fucking jealous. So I'm happy where I am, but I just don't understand how then people can complain. It's like, dude, maybe you, you think that the people who are doing that kind of crazy shit don't have a life. I don't know how they could. It's just, I, it's not, it's not feasible. You know? <laughs> I think maybe that's the challenge is I'm trying to maintain a real, a real normal life while I'm also being a streamer. And I think a lot of people who do this don't do that. They have these crazy lifestyles and shit. Like, I mean, not again, not that I'm criticizing. Have you oh, seen the you pictures are, of Asmongold's place? That it looks like... And here comes the insults. Not that I'm criticizing, but insult, 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 insult. And then he wonders why people get, like, triggered or offended. Because, like, uh, like... And that's the most bullshit thing, too. It's like, hey, no offense, but hugely offensive thing i'm about to say to you right that's like i hate when people do that it's like no offense but you're a piece of shit you know it's like white you're like i doesn't matter if you say no offense obviously if it's something that if, if it's something pretty offensive because usually whatever follows after someone says no offense is usually pretty fucking offensive and it's like yeah so why did you say no offense i'm still gonna fucking take offense because you just insulted me or something. Like, what? Like, he's a hoarder. It's full of trash and clothes and shit. And you're not one to talk about hoarding at all, Phil. At all. Wait, let me actually... Hold on. At all. Yep. Fucking all. All right, so welcome to part two of DSP's condo tour. I'm gonna back. What's going on, everyone? Dark Side Phil here, and uh, once a year I usually do this. This is something that actually I've been requested to do for several months now, and I actually purposely put it off. So it's almost a full year, and a lot of stuff is starting right here from the front oh door. Walking God, through, rocking. I'm actually going to be looking at. And we're going to be starting right here from the front door, walking th through. I'm actually going to. He looks like he lives in a horde. He is like, hey, he looks like a hoarder or something. He has so much shit in the background. Hmm. I don't know. Every time he did an apartment tour, his fucking apartment looks like fucking hell, right? Looks like hell. Looks like, like so many fucking statues. So many goddamn Blu-rays here. All these fucking statues and games and tumblers and all this bullshit on the art and on the walls, right? But he's the one who looks like he has a ho he's a hoarder, right? He's the fucking hoarder, not me. And the only reason he says this shit now, and even now, he says it when he has stupid ass shit in the background on fucking uh, boxes, uh, leaning up against fucking bo uh, PS5 empty boxes. And the Xbox Series S empty fucking boxes on these like fucking uh, TV tray tables that he draped a fucking cloth over. I'm like, really? And then it's like fucking like, no. So you still looks like you have shit in your background, too. And the only other thing is that like he doesn't do condo tours anymore. So there's no telling how fucked up and messy his actual condo is because he doesn't fucking he's too scared to actually do a tour anymore. So, yeah, of course, he's going to say this because we're oh, we're just supposed to assume that his condo is immaculate and super clean. Well, given your track history record and history of that, I kind of doubt that I'm kind of assuming your fucking condo is a huge fucking mess, ordered mess, just like uh, Asmund Gold, just like your old fucking condos, Phil. Sorry. Everywhere. It looks like a pigsty. You don't get to say shit like this unless we can see more of your fucking condo. Okay? 
Let, let's have him, like, turn the camera over and see the fucking huge mess of fucking wires that he has over there. Because we all seen that fucking, how many fucking the fire hazard that he has of, like, boxes and wires all over by his TV. So shut the fuck up. I'm not criticizing that. I'm just saying that's yes, what it looks like. Because what do you do when you sit around for 18 fucking hours? That's what happens. Right? So, I mean... <laughs> yes, because he's but known again, for being... These are honest questions I'm asking. Free, huh? This is not a criticism. Hey, if these people can do it and actually have a real life and, and maintain all that, more power to them. I don't know how they do it. And and again, he's like inadvertently insulting the guy in a suit like... A, like um saying that he doesn't have a life because he plays games better and more than you do. Like, you're still offending him by insulting him like this. You, you do know. realize hey, that's that, just right? real talk, all right? See, but then you get morons who make fun of me. Oh, he doesn't have a family. Okay, fuck you. Yes, I do. Go fuck yourself. I hate people who say d disgusting shit like that. I don't have a family just because I don't have a human child. Apparently, I don't have a family, okay? A human child, as opposed to what, Phil? As opposed to a cat child? Um... Last I checked, pets don't actually count as a family member. They really don't. I mean, you can love your little uh, your little dog or your little cat as much as you love a child. Ever. No, it's not the same fucking thing. It really is not. And no one realizes that until they actually have a kid, how much of a huge fucking difference it is between owning a cat or a pet or owning a fucking child. Not owning, but having a kid. Okay, it's not the same fucking thing, and it doesn't technically count as a family. Okay, go fuck yourself. He can go fuck himself. Gothic bad boy, what does what you just said have anything to do with our discussion? He says, a lot of streamers exercise, that would make you feel better. What the fuck does that have to do with our discussion right now? We're talking about work. And he's like this far in the game, and it's still taking him quite a long time just to kill these like super low level enemies, too. I don't know if that's like because he's using just a spammy mage or whatever it is. I don't play Diablo, so I don't know. But like as an like from I am an RPG fan. I just don't I haven't played Diablo, so I don't know about Diablo. But like this far in the game, you would think like one or two hits should kill like these low level little guys. Right. But he's still taking like what, four or five hits just to kill them. He's probably like rushing through it. Work-life balance and how people apparently are playing 18 hours on launch day with for three days of beating a game in three days. What does that have to do with me taking time out from streaming to exercise? <laughs> so your legs like, don't atrophy because you, you never actually of, get up right? and move around. It, it makes no sense what you're saying. You're just like you're trying to. You're just trying to get me in a gotcha moment. Oh, so you don't exercise? <laughs> what are you talking about? How does that even make sense? It makes no fucking sense at all. Right? It makes zero sense. How does that make any sense? I do feel that there's just ridiculous, unfair comparisons between content creators. You gotta understand that everyone's different. Everyone is so ignore it. Like, why are you bringing it up then? If that's the case, obviously people are gonna compare and contrast the two. Living a different life, and just because one person does something one way does not mean that's the way to do it. Nor does it mean that, you know, that they're any better or worse than anyone else. Obviously, anyone uh, who has a following on the internet is doing it in a way. Uh, well, I would argue that, like, um... <laughs> some people are better than you, and some people are worse than you. Oh, random people, I mean, like, in general, right? In general, obviously, there are going to be people that do things in a better way than you do things, right? Just in DSP's case... The majority of people do things a lot better than he does things. Like, every single thing that he does is wrong. And it's really kind of remarkable. It's like, it really is true. This is how you don't play. This is how you don't content create, basically. It's like, it's it really is kind of crazy. Like, every decision he makes, every choice he makes is ass backwards from what would actually give someone success. And it's like a shining example of what not to do when you're making content online, especially if you want to make a job of it. A way that works for their viewers. So who are you to criticize and say, this is better, this is worse, right? I used to live that. Well, they can look at the content and see the content is better or worse. That's a lifestyle, better. like no exaggeration. 
I used to live that lifestyle where I would just sit there and just play endlessly before I was streaming and I was just doing the on-demand videos on YouTube, I would sit there and record endlessly because I had no family, no responsibilities, nothing to do but just play games all week. So that was me. And by the way, that was when I was at my most unhealthy. I was constantly drinking. I was eating unhealthy food because I didn't have time to cook because I was just recording constantly. That was the worst part of my life. Now I'm in a much, much, much better part of my life. And I'm happy with the balance I have. But the trade-off is mm. now I need time for personal life. And so much more I healthier here now. 12, 14 hours. He really thinks, he really thinks that, uh, he really thinks that um, door dashing all these restaurants is somehow healthier than like making trash at home when it's all the same garbage. Playing games every day, you see. <clears throat> Around uh, here, even that's hard to come by. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in denim. <laughs> Squeeze banana. So dark side fill was unhappy about the fact that I exist. Fuck you. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in denim. <laughs> Squeeze banana. All right, so by the way, I'm just gonna say this now and I'm gonna start mentioning it. My streams are my business, okay? okay. Literally, they're my business. Like this is my job, oh, okay? okay? okay. There's and I want to say something too, which like, I think Peace of Peace said it, or someone else might have said it. So I'm going to echo what they said. But it's like, normal people, like, normal people, like, uh, I think it was that diaphragm guy with this whole Street Fighter thing video, which I'm not going to make a video on. It's not worth it. There's nothing really to go over. But like, normal people, and I would argue Asma Gold in, is included in this because he doesn't, I don't think he really knows much about DSP. So it's like, you got people that like have a baseline of human decency, so it's like you got a baseline respect for a normal uh, a human being that you don't know, right? So if Joe Schmloney <laughs> comes in off the street, you're gonna have a baseline human decency respect for that guy because you don't know who the fuck this person is. He could be an asshole. He could be a really nice person. You don't know yet, so you're gonna come in with that baseline. I don't know what, like, let's call it a four out of ten, one to ten, right? And the baseline for you is four for human decency and respect. And based on that actions and, like, learning who this person is, it's either going to go up or it's going to go down. But, like, if you just come in and you don't really know who DSP is, you're going to give him the baseline decency of, like, human decency until you get to know who this person is. And then it's probably going to go down for most people after knowing who this person is, right? So that's why I feel like, obviously, in this quote-unquote drama thing, it's like Asmongold, Diaphone, like, they, they, like, are kind of being introduced to this guy. They don't really know the lore about him, I don't think, unless they do, like, a deep dive beforehand. And even then, you, like... Because when I first found out about DSP, I was convinced he was doing a character. I didn't think he was fucking real. And I think most people when they he first see or hear all the bullshit that he supposedly has done or whatever, you like, no, this can't be real. This is like some fucker, like doing some kind of like character, like deep character kind of thing. This is, <laughs> this is the actor from fucking Borat doing some fucking character uh, for the long-term play or something. And then like, the more you look into it, the more you realize, holy shit, he, he is not doing a character. This is actually him. Because I think, um, I think fucking Keemstar, like, at first thought he was a fucking character. He didn't think it was real either. And I'm like, no, it's, it's fucking real. And it's, it's sad. <laughs> and shocking. But no, like, so these people come in with, like, a baseline respect. Like, they're obviously not going to be super. They sh they're not going to treat him the way he deserves to be treated because they don't know yet. You know? They're so angry that I do this for a living and they have to go work their shitty fucking nine to five job or whatever it is. If I feel the need to mention things such as, hey guys, would you like to support the stream or whatever and mention the ways you can support or anything like what that. What the that's fuck does this have to do with Diablo? You're not even done with the campaign. Like, come on, man. I make mistakes. I'm a fallible human. They're just sitting there saying, oh, the volume's too low. Like it louder. So you can say goodbye and never come back. Okay.
What are we doing? What the fuck is? What the fuck? Is oh! Bye, Dad. Corporate job versus the urban so. Bye, Dad. Corporate job. Just so fucking stupid. What? Now you get questions like, well, how does Asmund Gold do this or this or this? How do I know? Okay, I okay, all right, finally. It's the good part. It's the part about me, okay? This is so fun. This editor is sort of a metaphor. Just throws the guy off the cliff. All right, all right, here we go not have families and or lives or responsibilities outside of streaming i do like if i okay. played games for three straight days for 15 hours i would never see my wife like never okay so <laughs> i would have no time to spend with my my family like like you know what i mean like okay i don't get it how the hell are they what's wrong why is he mad about this like okay that's fine then don't do that i'm trying to protect my my family you know um for three straight days and only played Diablo for 18 hours for three days and we beat the story in three days. I would not spend time with my family. I wouldn't be eating meals or being healthy. I would actually probably feel like shit after doing that. And my wife would probably be furious that I didn't even spend any time with her at all. Same thing, you know, she- well, You gotta get your wife to reorient her fucking priorities. You're gonna make a bunch of more fucking money if you stream the game on the release. More people are gonna watch, you're gonna get more money, and then you can buy her something. Exactly. It's like anybody, people, there are times that you got to work. And if you want to do that and you want to be competitive, you, yeah. you got to do that. And if she doesn't understand that, that's her problem. But that doesn't mean that other people that do it aren't wrong. Like, look at Quinn. Quinn fucking, like, Quinn has a great relationship, it seems like, with his wife and his kids. He's doing things with them. But when a new game comes out... He basically says, honey, I'm going on a business trip. I'll be back in three days. <laughs> How do they do it? I don't know. You'd have to go ask them. But I'm just telling you from a realist perspective, there's no way I could maintain a real life if I was sitting here playing that much. You take three. You take two. Well, here, think about it like this, right? So, like, let's say you take three days and you make as much money as you would have made in ten days. So then couldn't you just take three days after you take the three days and take those off? Exactly. Yes, like I don't know much about Asmund Gold. I don't even know who the fuck Quinn is, but he's this is common sense right here, yeah. Like you could do that in three days instead of the whole week and you would get more content and let you would not flood your fucking viewers sub boxes with like five fucking videos a day and just make them longer videos and yeah. Like, you would make more fucking money doing it, and then you could take some time off afterwards to spend with your fucking wife. Like, it makes more sense, dumbass. It can be done. Other people do it. It doesn't mean it's wrong. And then that way you can spend three full days rather than three half days? Because, like, that... I mean, I'm just th trying to think about how this would... Like, because that would be logical, right? That That's what, what would make sense. I think it would like, be, He's right? not a logical human. Now, it's though. our job as intelligent people. I think maybe that's the challenge. I'm trying to maintain a real, a real normal life while I'm also being a streamer. And I think a lot of people who do this don't do that. They have these crazy lifestyles and shit. Like, I mean... I mean, he's not wrong. He's not entirely wrong. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, that's true. A lot of streamers live like degenerates. So true. Not again, not that I'm criticizing. Have you seen the pictures of Asmund Gold's place? Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's got me there. He's not wrong. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. 
that it looks like he's a hoarder. It's full of trash and clothes and shit everywhere. Uh-huh. It looks like a pigsty. And no, it, it, listen. It is a... I don't live in a crack house. I live in a crack home. Okay? This is my home. I live here, and it's very nice. I don't need anybody to approve of this. I'm not sorry. And even though, like, whatever, he probably, Esmond Gold probably owns the house, like, as actually probably paid it off, and um, his showers and toilets probably work, his um, garbage disposal probably works, his home isn't falling in disrepair and has random mold and water stains everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, even though it's, uh, like, a little bit more cluttered, it's supposedly more cluttered, which I argue is not the case anyway. I would argue that the rest of Phil's home is more cluttered than his. But even then, even supposing it's true, right, it's still in better condition than Phil's house. So. And it's not going to change. And it is interesting. I thought he didn't know you. He knows me. He, Of course he knows me. Of course. So I thought he said he didn't know you. Yeah. But that's not what, they, but you know what, I mean, come on. I'm not criticizing that, I'm just saying that's what it looks I mean, like. I didn't say he had to live in my house. I never said he had to live in my house. And actually have a real life and, and maintain all that, more power to them. I don't know how they do it, you know? Hey, that's just real talk, all right? See, but then you get morons who make fun of- Is it to have? He's in the, What are you doing wearing a hat in the house? You're playing a fucking video game, you idiot. Why you wear a hat in the house, man? What is this? What's he doing with the hat on? <laughs> he lives in Seattle. He wears that hat? Bro, what are you doing wearing a hat? What are you wearing a hat in the house? It was a donation goal? You telling me people gave him money to wear this hat? <laughs> From here, yeah, someone said I'm replacing my Ask the King hat. Now, my Ask the King hat's awesome. I'm not getting rid of that thing. What the fuck does that have to do with our discussion right What's, now? Does DSP not work out or exercise? I exercise pretty regularly. I have it in the last week, to be fair. But yeah, I... I... Ask what's your favorite exercise and cardio routines? Uh, it's when you burn calories while shoving your face filled with a big, delicious, full rack of ribs. How does that even make sense? It makes no fucking sense at all, right? It makes zero sense. But he's playing it. He's not playing it on a on a. Wait, wait. What the? F I just realized. Wait, what? He's playing Diablo on a fucking console. What the hell is he doing playing on a console for? He can play on a PC. Around uh, here. Even that's hard to come by. I mean, you're... That's it. That's the whole video. Man, that's really something, huh? That was really something. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in dinner. <laughs> Squeeze banana. Hey, everyone. Good evening. Uh, give me a sec. I'm getting set up or finishing set up here. I, uh was getting the stream started and nature called and I was like, holy moly, I gotta go. And I got back, I'm like, okay, let me finish Thanks up. Thanks for letting I, us I got know the stream about going, but really needed to I don't have anything on the laptop up and running. I want to obviously see your chat and see what you guys are talking about. I know someone had mentioned Asmund Gold and uh, I didn't see it yet. Like, I guess he had made a whole... My idiotic detractors, of course, took our discussion a couple nights ago when I was last playing Diablo took it out of context to try to spin it like I was saying negative things about the guy. Wrong! Phil, he watched the entirety of your conversation of you talking about Asmund Gold. There was not any part of that that was skipped. Literally from st your beginning of your conversation, starting when you talked about Asmund Gold to the end of it when you stopped. He watched the entire thing. It was not out of context. You inadvertently insulted the guy again just like you did before with that other guy and before with the other guy. like you constantly do this phil it's a habit i when i it's wasn't a recurring all. pattern and not again not that i'm criticizing have you seen the pictures of asmund gold's place oh. actually 
um, in any way. I wasn't slamming him in any way, shape, or form. What we were talking about was how people were saying, oh, you should be more like other streamers who, when these games come out, they do, like, crazy marathon streams, um, you know, where they're playing, like, anywhere from 16 to 18 hours a day for three straight days, and then they beat the new release in three days. And it wasn't me. It was viewers who brought up Gold does that. And I was like, oh, well, I don't know how he pulls it off if that's the case. You know, I couldn't do that. Number one, I think it's unhealthy to do marathons like that. <laughs> me sitting here from 10 to 4 with one 20-minute break in itself is not healthy. I wouldn't want to be sitting around for 18 hours sedentary. Uh, number two, I certainly wouldn't want... Uh, to be spending that much time away from my family, my wife would probably be furious with me if I told her I have no time for you or the family for three days because I'm playing a game, you know. And I'm You or the family. Phil. Phil, come on. You or, like, Phil, you, like, it's just you and her. That's it. You and the family? No, Phil, come on. Like, you can't be this delusional. The cat doesn't give a shit if you're there or not. As long as the cat gets fed and it's litter box taken care of, that's all the cat gives a shit. It does not care if it doesn't see you for a couple days. What the fuck? It's not part of the family. Number three, quite frankly. Come on, uh, man. I don't even know how, how you could pull that off just logistically. If you think of look at it, like you have to sleep at some point, right? It's not like there's one consistent... Ugh. So... Again, I wasn't even thinking. I don't know anything about Asmund Gold. So when I brought up, oh, he's the kind of guy that does it. And I was like, oh, again, I don't know. I don't know anything about his family. You know, I don't know anything about his situation. And then someone had brought up, oh, he's single. And basically, he kind of lives a bachelor life. And he does this crazy stuff. To which I responded, well, yeah, actually, I used to do that, too, back when I started on YouTube. Uh, and a new game came out. Sometimes I would play the game literally all day long. Of course, this is back when I was single. And I was doing very unhealthy things. I was drinking a ton and... Just in general, I wouldn't cook. I would You're eat still fast drinking food a ton. every day, and I would do all these unhealthy things. And I said, "Yeah, sometimes I would do that. I would play incredibly extended sessions, but you know, I haven't done that in so many years. Every, you know, and I have a family and everything. I have a responsibility to be present with the there family. Again, the family and do things around the house. It's not present just about with the family. Are you listening to this? Holy shit! About me anymore? You know what I mean? The delusion. <clears throat> so that's why there's no way that I could do anything like that but anyway and then someone had said well and you know basically the way he lives is kind of like a pigsty and i was like yeah i've seen a few pictures where like his his area has tons of trash and shit all over the floor and obviously that's pretty crazy and unsanitary and you know <laughs> <laughs> well you like you're fucking one to talk about unsanitary get the fuck out of here Ooh. you want to live like that like doesn't he have like bags of like like old cat Litter that you like use cat litter like in garbage bags in his in his fucking um garage because he he just doesn't have time to go to the fucking uh, dump or something bullshit like that like like if I'm remembering correctly he had admitted to that one once or twice or something and then he's constantly talking about well he was talking before, earlier about the whole uh, garbage disposal and how it sprayed like veggie water all over the place. Do you honestly see him getting on his hands and knees and cleaning that up? I don't. I think he just closed the cabinet underneath and just pretended it didn't exist. That? And certainly I wouldn't I'm want to live like Bill. that. You know, I'm just, just commenting on, on generalities like that. And like, he's a clean I literally son. didn't uh -huh. say anything negative about the guy at all because I don't really know you the did, guy. Though. I'm just going off you of generalized really info. Did. So then this morning people come to the stream, do you see Asmund Gold's talking about you? Asmund Gold, I'm like, even if he is, I don't even care because... I, anything he says couldn't possibly be, like, if it's negative, it couldn't be qualified information because I said nothing negative about the guy at all. Like, nothing at all. I was talking generalities. I don't even know of the man and the work he does, so how could I possibly be criticizing him, right? So, but anyway, I guess he did a video where people sent him, um, like, clips. No, they sent you the entire conversation you had about him. Clips from the show, of course, out of context to try to make it look like I was there saying is no context about him. needed. Phil. And I he guess saw apparently the his thing. reaction is that he laughs it off and thinks it's funny. Which, fine. I mean, that's probably the best attitude to have. Uh, I'm gonna watch it later. I didn't see it yet. He's a filthy, dirty liar. I guess it happened like earlier today. It was released when I was streaming, so I didn't have an opportunity to see it or anything like that. But we're gonna. I'll, I'll watch it. 
And, you know, someone had suggested this earlier. They said, would you like to watch that on DSP Reacts this weekend for DSP versus the Internet? To which I said, yeah, submit it. I will live react to it. Why wouldn't I? Isn't that the purpose of my react show that I do every Saturday to react to that kind of stuff? So why wouldn't you submit that? I mean, sure, absolutely do. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Light, big lightning, light, uh, light bulb going off here. <laughs> right? <clears throat> okay. Blue and then the, the glass. So if uh, Asmund Gold and I were ever to fight over these horrendous comments that we've made about each other, uh, which obviously is unforgivable on both sides, um, we would definitely do a kick foot boxer style unsanctioned fight for millions and millions of viewers across the internet. And we would fight to the death with, uh, with the, the glass, for sure. That's how we would do it. I could spin this around in my favor. Spin what around exactly? What needs to be spun in my favor exactly? I, I'm very confused. You insulting people. someone? I swear to God, there's people on this planet that are so like oh, yes. self-centered and opportunistic. Every possible thing that happens, they're like, "What can?" Yeah, they're called successful people. Imagine that. What can I do to benefit from this? Ayúdame, por favor. It's muy importante. What? Yeah, that's that's how people get popular. That's how people get successful, Phil. Like, okay, well, I'm in this situation. Let me see how I can actually like turn this around and make it actually like profitable or entertaining. That's what like um, Stutter and Craig tried to do when he was like offered him to uh, to like play a Street Fighter match with him. He's like, well. Phil already doesn't like me, but hey, at least this would be entertaining to, like, both our viewers if we were to do something like this, you know? But of course he shits on that idea. What are you talking about? Because that would actually be entertaining for his fans. He doesn't wow. want that. What exactly is happening to spin in my favor? Nothing is going on right now. <laughs> we're about to have a two-hour chill stream of Diablo 4 is what we're about to do. So how can I spin that in my favor? If you guys enjoy the stream and we interact and have a great time, and possibly if you enjoy it enough, you'd consider supporting the stream. There More you go. Begging, Let's that's spin why. it around in my favor. No, what I would say, give me monies. Um, what I would say is tonight, uh, if you guys enjoy the content, if you could support it, we got t tonight and two more days left in June for streaming for me. Uh, you know, July starts this weekend. And on the YouTube side of things, things like Super Chats, memberships, gifted memberships, they count for this month, but only till Friday. After that, it counts for the next month. Anything that you contribute via like super chats and memberships and stuff in the next couple of streaming days will will actually benefit me in July. So if you were maybe thinking, hey, I like to support the channel, I like the crowd for the Diablo streams, I like to chill with Phil, and you know want to support the streams, now would be a good time to do super chatting or you know memberships or gifted memberships. Okay, that would help long term. Uh, so thank you to anyone who thinks about that. You know, we haven't had many new members in many months. Or many months, excuse me. Many days. <laughs> it's been pretty stagnant. Well, many months for too, I guess. So. You could argue. So it would be great to maybe get a little bit of a, a rally by the end of the month. Save the pig. <laughs> save the pig. The game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. So the other topic I want to talk about is that uh, a couple nights ago, I was playing Diablo. And as I was playing Diablo 4, a topic came up with the audience. And the topic is as follows. Hey, monies. hey, Phil, why don't you play these new releases more? Like, for example, when a new game comes out, why don't you play it like a marathon two, three days to get as far into the game as you can? A lot of the other streamers, your contemporaries, actually beat new releases within two, three days by playing them in a marathon setting basically you know they're playing it some of some of them are playing 13 to 18 hours a day and getting 40 hours into the game within three days all right so this opened up <clears throat> a discussion on the stream about how i handle new releases about how it fits into my schedule and how you know how set my schedule is you know what i mean for as much as i stream how, how you know dependable it is but the fact that because i adhere to that schedule that a lot of people feel like it holds me back from covering new releases more um but then, during that discussion, what came up was that, well, in particular, there's a few streamers who do it way differently, and one of the names that came up was Asmund Gold. That I guess when a new game comes out, Asmund Gold will actually, like, really dedicate himself to playing the game for three or more days to try to get through the main... I think the, the game that came up was Diablo, that he had played, like, the main story of Diablo within two, three days. It was done, so now when he plays the game, he's in the post-game, end-game content that's considered the best content of the game, 
and people are excited as opposed to here I am. I've been playing Diablo for over three weeks and I'm still in the campaign. I'm still in Act Now, I'm in Act Four, right? Um, and it opened up a discussion about it. And I was talking about, well, it's about work life balance. If I only play games for three days, I mean, I'm not getting sleep. I'm not seeing my family. I'm spending no time with my wife. I'm not living up to my end of the bargain as a life. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they're talking like, oh, you only do it for three days. They're not talking about like three days nonstop 24 seven without any fucking sleep. They're just saying like, do it for like a like a 10 or 14 hour marathon, not an whole ass fucking 24 seven, never actually sleep marathon, dumbass. I'm not living up to my obligations as a life partner. Phil, what obligations do you have? Huh? You're not making any food. You're not helping her around the house. You're not cleaning around the house. All you do is like help pay bills. And um like maybe take the garbage out, and that's about it. Because honestly, I bet she'd be more happier without having to talk to you anymore. She like hears him shuffling down the stairs or whatever. She's like, oh god damn it, he's coming here now. Wish he would just stay up there a little bit longer. Play longer or something. A partner doing chores and you know what I mean. Like what how unfair would that do you be? Do? Oh, List out all the fair. chores you do. Phil. Yeah, that was real fair. <laughs> that was not fair at all. That was horseshit, is what that was. And you know, it was an interesting discussion. But the fact that I I even said it during the when I was saying it during the segment, I said, "So you guys are literally name dropping Asmund Gold, likely because you're trying to get drama stirred up." And I know that he'll, the, the likely what will happen is all this will be taken out of context, right? And Which it wasn't. So he saw the entire um, rant, whatever you want to call it, the, in its entirety, Phil. He didn't see just like a little clip of here and there. It doesn't need, that's the thing. It does not, it does not need to be taken out of context for them to get the idea of who you are. They don't need to fucking trick it and tamper with it or edit it to make you look bad. You make yourself look bad all on your own. They don't need to fucking do it out of context. They just sent Asmongold the entire fucking video of the entire talk that you had. What's the point of sending him the entire fucking stream? He's not going to watch a three hour gameplay fucking stream when you only talk about him for this little period of time here from here to here, why would they send him the entire fucking stream? You don't even talk about him beyond that stream parameters. So why not just send him the clip? That's not out of context. That's the full context, Phil. And because again, it's about me. It's supposed to be about discussing me and how I cover new releases and why I cover them the way I do. Me, as opposed to how others do. This is not me attacking others and their methodology. It's me defending my way of doing things, right? I said, but I guarantee you this will be taken out of context. And, you know, we went a little bit further in because people were, like, talking specifics about Asmund Gold. I'm like, well, I don't know the guy. I don't watch his content. I don't watch his gameplay. I know very big generalities about him, and that's about it, you know. So I talked a little bit more for, like, maybe maybe I'd say probably the discussion lasted 10 minutes on my Diablo stream, right? So, of course, what happens? Literally exactly what I said happened. My haters slash detractors took the segment, clipped it up, completely cut out the part with context. So when you watch their version, there was no discussion about me covering new releases whatsoever, and there was no criticism being thrown towards me saying that, oh, why don't you play those games more at release like others do? Instead, it's spun to make it look like I'm saying that others are doing it wrong, and the way that I do it is better because now I have a work-life balance, so my methodology is better than yours because I have a life and you don't. I don't get it. How the hell are they living a life if they're sitting at their computer for 18 hours for three days straight? Then they're not spending any time with their family at all. So I don't understand that. In reality, if you actually watch the raw footage, that's not the discussion at all. It's com completely the opposite. I repeatedly say, anyone could do it in any way, it's all fine. But this is why I do it my way. I'm trying to tell you why I come. No, that part was fine. The part that became an insult, again, is you insulting his living conditions and making wide assumptions about his uh, family life, quote-unquote family life or whatever. That's the problem area. See, like, 
again, it comes down to where it's like if you actually like stop talking a couple sentences before you actually ended, you would be fine. But you keep going that little bit extra and manage to slip in a dig, whether you realize it or not, whether it's intentional or not, it still comes off as a fucking insult. You imbecile for games the way I do and why it works for me but another thing might work for someone else and in fact I outright said in the segment when I was younger I used to cover games when I was a young man my father <laughs> it was like that it was incredibly unhealthy I'd be sitting in my room for 18 hours recording constantly uploading eating fast food because I didn't have time to cook you know and I was the most unhealthy unhappy part of my life I'm glad now that I have a better life that I don't go back to those those methods, right? So again, in context, the whole thing makes sense. And you can see that I'm not insulting anyone. I'm not going He watched the entire fucking thing in context though. Not in my way to name drop anyone. Jesus. It's literally an organic discussion with my audience. But taken out of context, which is all that my scumbag haters do, the whole thing does look like it's a slam piece against others. Like I'm slamming everyone else out there. So you're admitting it will look bad no matter what then. Because that's not, it was not taken out of fucking context, you idiot. You AJ. God damn. For doing things a different way than the way that I do it, which I did not. Okay? So, basically what happened was, well, of course one of my haters made a video like that, and all of my haters sent it to Asmund Gold and said, hey, because Asmund Gold does a whole, whole, I guess, whole segments of his streams where he reacts to stuff that people send him. So he said, hey, react to this, react to this, react to this. All right? So he reacts to it. And it's about 20 minutes of him reacting to the clip. Now, of course, he's only reacting to what he sees, not to the whole conversation. Do you really believe that? So I agree. Out of context, the conversation, it makes it's made to look like I'm insulting others for doing things differently of how I do it, which is completely the opposite of what the discussion was. Okay? But if you watch it, all right, basically, he's like, well, number one, if you play more games or if you play more of a new release at launch, you're going to make more money. So if you play the hell out of a new release game at launch and you get through it, then you can take days off later in the week to spend with your family. Yeah, that's logical. And isn't it better though. to have entire days with your family than half days? Okay? It's a good point. But it's funny because people are like, no, they're, they're married. It's like, okay, so they're married, but do they actually have like a life is my question. If you, if like, let's say, for example, when Diablo came out, I literally just sat here for three straight days and only played Diablo for 18 hours for three days. And that's and not what they do anyway. They don't do, like, yeah, they do marathons, but they don't do it, like, 24 fucking 7, never sleeping or anything, dummy. Beat the story in three days. I would not spend time with my family. I wouldn't be eating meals or being healthy. I would actually probably feel like shit after doing that, and my wife would probably be furious that... I, I, you know, that's a good point if it makes if it makes sense for a certain scale. All right. And the other points that he makes are basically like everyone has a right to do however they want. But then he actually, it's funny because some of the things in the video, he outright laughs off and agrees with. He's like, yeah, Phil, you know, now he's not entirely wrong. Some of the things he's saying are actually good points, right? Not to say that I was, you know, everything that I said he agreed with. But essentially, here's the deal. Asmund Gold is a level-headed person. Unlike a lot of people who have seen clips out of context about me over the years, he did not go to the extreme. That is because he saw the entire clip in its context, the entire entirety of the clip. And again, this step, this comes back to people not knowing a person. So they have a baseline, a baseline respect for that individual as another human being does, right? He doesn't know who DSP is, or he doesn't have a good grasp of who DSP is, so he's giving him a baseline of respect. Just like Diaphone, I think. Diaphone? I don't know what the fuck his name is. Like, the guy who did the Street Fighter analogy thing, review thing or whatever, right? Like, they have baseline respect. So Diaphone was treating him just as another Street Fighter player, um, Asma goes just treating him as another content creator. They don't know the full scale of DSP. So they're obviously not going to go off and say all these, like, uh, uh, like, actually damning things and actually look into it 
and be like, really, this motherfucker said that? This person of all people? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't know him enough to realize how much of a piece of shit he is, to realize this is a pattern that he does constantly. And he's constantly insulting other content creators and trying to make them look bad. And he and like they don't realize that they just see him as another person and not the pig roast that we all know him to be. Not the slimy, greedy little fucking hobbit troll that he actually is. So obviously it's not going to be super dramatic or anything like that. Whereas like Keemstar kind of saw through him pretty quickly, I would argue, because like him being on drama alert and everything he got a he has a good eye for that kind of shit so he saw the piece of shit for what he is and the other ones didn't obviously so they were like they aren't gonna go off and go on this whole rant or whatever be super explosive or vitriolic or whatever you want to call it because it goes back to every normal person has like a baseline respect for other people as a human being and based on continued talking to the person um, like the whole first impressions thing, right? Actually, this is Lefty who said this. Sorry, this is actually Lefty who was talking about this, not piece of piece. Um, but yeah, it's like so based on like your actions, and if you act like a freaking moron or a nice, decent person, it'll go up or down. Our respect for a person, you like, you don't automatically get like super high respect. You have to earn that shit, right? So everyone starts with a fucking baseline. And if you earn it, it'll go up. If you don't earn it, it'll go down. You know, it's like a little fucking game lever meter, like level meter kind of thing. And it's like the more you watch Phil, the more that's fucking going to go down for a majority of people. Except for fucking dense, where apparently it works in the opposite way. But like the more you look into him, the more you see of him, it's just going to keep going down and down. And you realize how much of a piece of shit he actually is. Dream. He did not flip out. Right? It makes zero sense. But he's playing it. He's not playing it on a on a wait. Wait, what the? F I just realized. Wait, what? He's playing Diablo on a fucking console. What the hell is he doing playing on a console for? He can play on a PC. He's basically watching this clip, and he gets. It's funny because if you watch the full react, you get to the end of it, and at the end of it, he literally says this. He goes, "So let me get this straight." This is a hate video about Phil. It's literally made by his hate watchers. That's what I'm watching. It's not his stream. I'm watching a hate watcher video. That's what you guys sent me. He goes, and this stupid video has 500 comments on it. And he cracks up. He goes, damn, what a ridiculous situation that these hate watchers. He did not say that. <laughs> no. Oh, I think that's actually the next video. So maybe I'm wrong. No. He, again, he's take, he's putting words in his mouth. Literally just watch this guy to make shit like this and then act like it's something it's he's not. He's lying about and they, what he... they 500 comments on a fucking worthless video. And he even says, why did you send me this? Why did I even watch this? There was no point. There's nothing to this video. It's a waste of time. It's obvious bullshit, right? <laughs> he's smart. He's fucking smart. He, he saw through the bullshit. He's like, what a dumb thing, you know? But that's, that's the sad fact. Is that's the majority of stuff on the internet about me is that. It's people always spinning it to be something it's not, to take it out of context and misrepresent me. Asmund Gold's smarter than that. So he was able to look at it and be like, wow, it's a stupid bullshit. Because that's another bad and then habit I'm, that he I'm does. Everything, he then you gotta be a bunch of negative fucking, fucking dicks and do that kind of shit. Get the I'm fuck like, out no, of here, seriously. You, you paraphrase what people actually said. Anyway, and like, totally change it. Here's the deal. I just summarized, all right? What I would like to do, and this is only if you guys would like me to, and this is up to you. What we can do is during this Sunday's marathon, I will do a live react to the Asmund Gold react, in which case I can add the entire context to it. Meaning, instead of them cutting out half the fucking conversation, I can explain what the full conversation was, how it was in context, right? We can do that. It's up to you, though. But I, we don't have to do it. But I'm feeling like that's the best time to do it. Because I was thinking about doing it on Saturday, but I was like, no, nah, we already, people want me to watch the clips that they submit for DSP versus the internet. They don't want me taking up their time to do another random clip that's unrelated, right? So it's up to you if you guys want it or not. But I think why reacting to what he's saying makes a lot of sense. Because the truth is, a lot of what he's saying is completely good and makes sense. If you're watching a video that's out of context, I'm not surprised he reacts that way, right? 
Look, I'll give you one example. Okay. It wasn't out of context, says, though. Well, if you just play a new release a ton in the first three days it's out and you get through it, you're going to get more views, you're going to get more money. That's actually not true. I'm no, just... it's true for normal fucking people. It's just not true for you because you're a piece of shit and you play games terrible. Being honest, it's not true at all. Um, hey, well, I heard this. It's got to be true. This is hilarious. All right, this is hilarious because I have to address this because it's so stupid. Someone took the dollar and says, you always say things are out of context, but all the clips about you are legit uncut clips from your streams with no editing whatsoever. Exactly. You have no clue what context means, do you? Like, the just the what you said in the tip is so incredibly stupid. Like, he legit wants someone to send Asmongold the entire fucking three-hour stream and have him watch the whole fucking stream even though he only mentions Asmund Gold for like, what was it, 15 minutes? Not even? But he wants someone to send him the entire fucking stream. It's remarkable how dumb you are to say that on my stream. Like, I'm no, not going to address it. No, you're just a fucking moron. Do you understand what context is? Context you didn't is mention anything else about him before or after, you moron. The whole segment where all you did was talk about him was sent to him. There was no mention of him before or after. There's no need for that shit to muddy the thing. You dumb does shit. It would have just been edited gameplay. a clip, so it's, you're saying something you're not saying. That's That would actually be, like, dishonesty. That would be, like, for example, you know, cutting up audio clips of someone saying a swear word they never said because they took little blips of things they said and edited it together to make it sound like it or oh something, gosh. right? That's not what I'm saying. Have you no idea what context is? Context means... In the, the capacity of making sense in a, in a line of discussion, something means one thing. But if you pull it out of that line of discussion, it means completely something else. So, again, he wants someone to send him the entire fucking stream. An example here would be the Asmongold no discussion. Number one, I never brought up Asmongold. A viewer did. <clears throat> that right? does, doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter if you just randomly brought him up or if someone else brings him up. Because you still fucking talked about him, and you still insulted the guy. So it doesn't fucking matter, you moron. I didn't know anything at all about Asmongold and his situation of streaming or what he played or anything, right? At all. That was someone bringing it up as a reference saying, oh, Asmongold's like that. So I'm taking someone's word for it. It wasn't a name drop. I didn't drop the name. A viewer did. Does it matter? In the clip. The clip. It doesn't fucking matter. You like, are focusing on the wrong goddamn thing. Should they have included the whole fucking clip or the whole fucking tip part as well as... F you didn't even read the tip out, I don't think. You just like read... You kind of read it, but you didn't read the whole fucking thing and just kind of instantly went into your answer. So Clip cuts that part out where I'm reading off what the viewer said. That makes it out of context. That's not fair to me. He really thinks that would make that much of a difference. No, what matters is what you actually said about him, though. No one cares who brought it up first. You dumbass. <laughs> what a dumbass. Also, the line of discussion began when people were saying to me, Phil, the reason that people aren't really following along these RPG playthroughs is because you take too long to play the games. If you spent three, four days just playing these games as they released, then maybe you would actually get somewhere because you get really far into the games and get through most of them in a few days. And a lot of streamers do that. That was the discussion. And then my discussion was, well, here's why I don't do that. Because I have a work-life balance, because I have a schedule, because I'm a variety content creator that juggles multiple games. I would upset a lot of people if I only played one game for three, four days straight. Like, that was the conversation. In context, it makes sense. If you cut that whole early conversation out, all it sounds like is I'm criticizing others for doing things different. But you still did it no matter what. You see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter if you take that part out or not. What matters is what you said. So whether someone brought it up or you brought it up first, it doesn't matter because you still said what you did. Like, you don't understand. Like, like it literally does not matter who brought it up first or why it was brought up. None of that shit really matters. What matters is what you are talking about the person about. That's what matters. That's what people want to see. That's what he reacted to. 
differently than the way that I do it. And I'm trying to say that my way is perfect. It's not. It works for me. It doesn't mean that it works for everyone else. And you said that in the clip that was sent to him. And that's fine. Because that's what Asmund Gold said too. But no one again, is forcing it's you about to do that. Doing it in context. And if you cut that out of context, it sounds differently than what it is. So I can't make you understand. He's literally just like trying to finagle it to where it's like, oh, it sounded so much different. No, it would have sounded the same even if they added that extra like one, two minute like tip thing that was before that. It still would have sounded the same and he still would have reacted the same because it doesn't matter. And the concept that of context, part doesn't matter. but your tip shows you have no idea what it is. And the fact that you just think that someone takes something that I said on a stream without editing it. They didn't edit it. They just clipped it. You do realize that, right? Just because it didn't... Like, they didn't edit it at all. They literally just took, like... Doesn't YouTube have this, like, clip option already, like, built into it where you can, like, clip a small part of a YouTube video just, like, from this point to this point and just put it up? Like, that doesn't even involve any editing. Makes it truthful or makes it meaningful or makes it that, oh, so you said that, so therefore we didn't make anything up. It just shows how dumb... Like, maybe in some instances... I could see how like what he's talking about might be a thing, but in this particular instance, it doesn't make it doesn't shade the argument one way or the other. It still is what he said. It doesn't change how it's viewed. Tell me why. This must be true, and this must be true, and this must be true. Jesus Christ! You can see that I'm not insulting anyone. I'm not going out of my way. I mean, he kind of were. I mean, like it's like if you say something and then you say like anybody that does this doesn't have a life, or you don't, you can't have. A topic came up. DSP lies about what Asmongold said, claims I took the clip out of context and insults Tipper. A couple nights ago, I was playing Diablo. Mm -hmm. And as I was playing Diablo 4, a topic came up with the audience. And the topic is as follows. Hey, monies. hey Phil, why don't you play these new releases more? Like, for example, oh when a new game comes out, why don't you play it like a marathon two, three days to get as far into the game as you can? A lot of the other streamers, your contemporaries, actually beat new releases within two, three days by playing them in a marathon setting, basically. You know, they're playing it, some, some of them are playing 13 to 18 hours a day and getting 40 hours into the game within three days. All right? So this opened up <clears throat> a discussion on the stream uh -huh. about how I handle new releases about how it fits into my schedule and how, you know, how set my schedule is, you know what I mean, for as much as I stream, how, how you know, dependable it is. But the fact that because I adhere to that schedule, that a lot of people feel like it holds me back from covering new releases more. Um, but yeah, somebody said in chat, I didn't, I didn't know why Diablo 4 on release. Yeah, I never did that because I didn't think that would be good content. But then, during that discussion, what came up was that, well, in particular, there's a few streamers who do it way differently, and here one of the go. names that came up was Asmund Gold. Uh, here we go. All right, all right. Now it's the part about me. That I guess when a new game comes out, Asmund Gold will actually, like, really dedicate himself to playing the game for three or more days. No. No. To try to get through... The main, I think the, the game that came up was Diablo, that he had played no. like the main story of Diablo within two, three days. It was done. No. So, Did not. Now when he plays the game, he's in the post-game, end-game content that's considered the best content of the game. It's the opposite. The campaign is way better content. It's much more interesting. You know what's going to happen. Uh, campaign's much better content. It's got cutscenes and everything. Like the end game is just farming nightmare dungeons over and over and over. And people are excited as opposed to here i am i've been playing diablo for over three weeks and i'm still in the campaign i'm still in act now how the fuck three weeks on the campaign are you fucking mm. kidding me <laughs> three fucking weeks this guy's the statistic from blizzard this guy was part of the infographic right here and act four right um and it opened up a discussion about it and i was talking about well it's about work-life balance uh -huh. If I only play games for three days, I mean, I'm not getting sleep. I'm not seeing my family. I'm spending no time. Well, I mean, like, how long does the campaign take? Like, I mean, I think it takes, like, probably 15 hours, right? What does it take, 15 hours? Six hours? Ten hours? Let's say it takes 15 hours, right? It takes a while. Streaming is his job, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. it is his job, right? That's why he talks about the donations a lot, right? Yeah, okay. So, I mean, look, man... 
how do you like what are you doing like what else are you playing like i just oh my god you still should have been done with it it's been out for a month i feel bad for not being done with final fantasy 16 it came out a week ago he's got three wives 12 kids and 14 jobs true apparently I'm with my wife i'm not living up to my end of the bargain as a life partner doing chores and you know what i mean like how unfair life would that partner. be you're not He's living up to great. your point of the walk oh, oh that was fair yeah that was real fair that was not fair at all that was horse shit is what that was <laughs> and you know it was an interesting discussion but <sighs> oh the fact God. that I, I even said it during the when i was yeah. saying it during the segment i said so you guys are literally name dropping Asmund Gold, likely because uh -huh. you're trying to get drama stirred up. And I know that he'll, the, the likely will happen is all this will be taken out of context, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And because again, it's about me. It's supposed to be about. See, he's people. watching the entirety of the fucking clip, or not even the clip. He's watching this whole ass fucking thing. So it's like it included the tip and everything. Like, what the fuck is Phil talking about? Discussing right. me and how I cover new releases and uh -huh. why I cover them the when way I do. When he's just putting yeah. words me. in fucking Asmongold's mouth. As opposed to how others do. This is not me attacking others and their methodology. It's me defending my way of doing things, right? Uh, okay. My way is the highway. I guarantee way. this will be taken out of context. Yeah. And, you know, we went a little bit further in because people were, like, talking specifics about Asmongold. I'm like, well, I don't know the guy. I don't watch his content. I don't watch his gameplay. Uh -huh. I know very big generalities about him, and that's about it, you know? So I talked a little bit more for like maybe maybe I'd say probably the discussion lasted ten minutes on my Diablo stream, oh, right? So of course what happens? Literally right. exactly what I said happened. My haters slash detractors took the segment, clipped it up, completely cut out the part with context. So when you watch What the, context did we miss out on? I feel exactly. like we got the context though, right? Their version. You got the entirety of the context. There was no discussion context. about me covering new releases whatsoever. And there was no- Well, it was. That's why I spent half the video talking about. Like, we saw that. That was in the video. It wasn't out of context at all. Mm -hmm. Criticism being thrown towards me, saying that, oh, why don't you play those games more at release like others do? Instead, it's spun to make it look like I'm saying that others are doing it wrong and the way that I do it is better because now I have a work. Well, you kind of were though, right? Because you were saying that like, if you do that, and if you play the game all the time like that, you don't have a life. Exactly. He doesn't realize that he insinuate, like when he talks like this, he insinuates it. So maybe it's, it doesn't seem like it's intentional, but the way he fucking talks has like insinuations to it where it's like, well, yeah, like exactly just what he said. So you are technically insulting him. You just don't realize it because you're like, no, I, I just said it works for me. But you are insinuating it when the same sentence, though, in the same breath. So, like, you're, I mean, this is the royal you, right? This is like if you do this, not you, but anybody does this and they don't have a life. Like, this is what he said. He did say this. It, it, it's like also I understand what he's getting at. It's not like he's totally wrong. It's just that it's not contextualized at all. Life balance, so my methodology is better than yours because I have a life and you don't. I don't get it. How the hell are they living a life if they're sitting at their computer for 18 hours for three days straight? Then they're- That's, see, this is the original, this, that's what I heard too. Not spending any time with their family at all. So I don't understand that. In reality, yeah. if you actually watch the raw footage, that's not the discussion at all. It's com completely the opposite. I repeatedly say anyone could do it in any way. It's all fine. But this is I why didn't I hear you say that. Way. I'm trying. Well, to I didn't like hear you saying say that. that. Like, oh well, some people are crackheads and it's degenerate to do that, and you should never do crack and it's bad for you. But, but you know, people can do whatever they want. Yeah, it's exactly. It's like you're still and like if if somebody was a crackhead and they saw that, they might be offended to tell you why I cover games the way I do and why it works for me, but another thing might work for and someone else. And in too fact, stupid I, I, to realize I it. Like, he doesn't segment, even realize when I was younger, insulting me. I used to cover games like that. It was incredibly uh -huh. unhealthy. I'd be sitting in, in my room for 18 hours, a long recording, time. constantly uploading, eating fast food because I didn't have time to cook. You know, and I was the most unhealthy, unhappy part of my life. Maybe we should go through DSP's last two weeks of streams and men max what he's doing wrong. Yes, you know? yes please do that. Please do. I would love to see we that. We could go back and like look. Okay, so because he's you know, doing everything time wrong, point, you should have been playing Diablo Four instead of arguing with a chatter or something like that. It would mm -hmm. be really fucking funny to do that. 
It would be. I'm glad now that I have a better life. I don't go back to those those methods, right? Uh huh. So again, in context, right. The whole thing makes sense, and you can see that I'm not insulting anyone. I'm not going out of my you way. Are. You kind of were. I mean, like it's like if you say something and then you say like anybody that does this doesn't have a life, or you don't, you can't have a life if you do this. You are implying something is wrong with the people that are doing it. it it's like, come on, that's obviously what you're saying, and it's okay. I, I don't understand. I, that's fine, but just say it to name drop anyone it's literally an organic discussion with my audience mm -hmm. but taken out of context because he's so delusional he thinks that haters do he said it this other way he doesn't even like remember what actually he said others like i'm slamming everyone else out there for doing things a different way than the way that i do it which i did not okay so basically well you i mean like but like i uh, you, you know like kind of i mean you did but like it's not a big deal like i'm not offended i'm not upset about that because like it, he's gonna do what he's gonna do like that's that's fine it's okay but then somebody else is gonna do what they're gonna do i don't think yeah it, it i'm not like it's not a big deal but i mean it is like we did see the clip it's not a secret what happened was, well, of course, one of my haters made a video like oh. that, and all of my haters sent it to Asmund Gold they and did. said, "Hey, because Asmund Gold does a whole, whole, I guess, whole segments of his streams where he reacts to stuff that people send." Imagine it. that. So he said, "Hey, react to this, react to this, react to this." All right. Yeah. So he reacts to it, I did. and it's about twenty minutes of him reacting to the clip. Now, of course, he's only reacting to what he sees, right. not to the whole conversation. No, he, really he reacted to the whole so conversation. So I agree, out of context. The conversation it makes it's made to look like I'm insulting others for doing things differently of how I do it, yeah. which is completely the opposite of what the discussion was. Okay, well, but but the if you watch it, all right, basically, he's like, well, number one, if you play more games or if you play more of a new release at launch, you're going to make more money. So if you play the hell out of a new release game at launch and you get through it. Then you can take days off later in the week to spend with your family. Yeah. And isn't it better to have entire days with your family than half days? Okay. It's a good point. But it's funny. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. How about that? We're like, no, they're they're married. It's like, okay, so they're married, but do they actually have like a life? Is my question. If you if, like, let's say for example, when Diablo came out, I literally just sat here for three straight days and only played Diablo for not 18 insult, hours though. for three not days and beat nope. the story in three days. Right. I would not spend time with well, my he's family. He's insinuating and he doesn't realize he's doing being healthy. It. I would actually probably feel like shit after doing that and my wife would probably be furious. That I, I, you know, that's a good point if it makes, if it makes sense for a certain scale. All right. And the other points that he sure. makes are basically like everyone has a right to do however they want. But then he actually, it's funny because some of the things in the video he outright laughs off and agrees with. He's like, yeah, Phil, you know, now he's not entirely wrong. Some of the things he's saying are actually good points, right? Not to say that I was, you know, everything that I said is that he agreed with. D sure. I mean, of course, playing a video game 18 hours a day is not good. Yeah, that's not, it's not a big deal, right? I mean, damn. Sure. Play games for a living. Sometimes you got to go to work, provide them. Yeah, it's, it's not a big, like, fuck. But what's his point, man? But. Like, it's fucking goat. It's not even a fucking goatee anymore. And it's just driving me crazy when I'm watching this because, like, he has this mustache here, but there's, like, a crease right here and a crease right here. When I hit play again, just pay attention. You'll see it if you haven't already. It's like a crease. And then there's, like, this little tiny, ha like, handlebar. Not even a handlebar, but this little tiny section of mustache here. And then this is all just, like, on like obviously there's like a bare spot right here and this is all just gray hair and i don't think like i think he still has like some stubble here because he doesn't even fucking try to maintain it at all so it's all just like a huge fucking mess and he looks way fucking older than he actually is it's crazy essentially know. here's the deal who knows asmund gold is a level-headed yeah, person see i know unlike a lot of people who have seen clips out of context about me over the years he did not go to the extreme. He did not flip out, right? It makes zero sense. But he's playing it. He's not playing it on a on a. Wait, wait. What the? F I just realized. Wait, what? He's playing Diablo on a fucking console. What the hell is he doing playing on a console for? He can play on a PC. 
he's basically watching this clip and he gets oh, man. A fuck? Well, who doing that shit? it's funny because if you watch the full <laughs> react you get to the end of it and at the end of it he literally says this he goes ah uh, yes we get to the point where he's putting fucking words in Asmongold's mouth so let me get this straight this is a hate video about Phil. It's literally made by his hate watchers. That's what I'm watching. It's not his stream. I'm watching a hate watcher video. That's what you guys sent me. He goes, and this stupid video has 500 comments on it. And he cracks up. He goes, damn, what a ridiculous situation that these hate watchers literally just watch this guy to make shit like this and then act like it's something it's not. And they, they 500 comments on a fucking worthless video. And he even says, why did you send me this? Why did I even watch this? There was no point. There's nothing to this video. It's a waste of time. It's obvious bullshit, right? It is. like, And and, and I will give him a bit of the doubt. People are way too attached to what Dark Side Phil does. It's like if he wants to burp and spend his money on WWE mobile game gotchas and, and play a video game 15 minutes a day... <laughs> I, I, I just I don't see this as being like particularly offensive to me on a personal level the same way that some of his viewers take it. I just think it's I don't really give a fuck, you know. See that's <clears throat> see that's the problem. Like obviously you don't give a fuck or whatever, and that's fine. Like I get that, but like a lot of people do, and it's like here's the thing, right? Like. If Phil actually had a real job, or even if he was doing this, but he got his money via, like, sponsorship sponsors, and, like, if he got his money for, like, sponsors and merch and stuff like that, and he was still playing WWE, no one would have a problem. Like, no one would have a problem that he wastes all his money on WWE uh, champions, and that he's an alcoholic, and that he's rude to his chat or whatever. No one would care. His name, he would not be as infamous as he is if that was the case, right? The problem is he scams mentally challenged people out of their welfare, their fixed income welfare money that they need to survive, and they give it to him. And then he wastes their money on WWE ch champions and other shit, right? That's the problem a lot of people have. That's what pisses people off. If he actually earned his money and his money came from companies and sponsorships and his own merch and shit like that, and like even if it was ad revenue and like if he got, yeah, because like if he got like money from Teespring and ad revenue from YouTube or Twitch or whatever and got zero tips. No one would have a fucking issue with him. Well, some people might have a slight issue with him, but most he would not be as infamous. He would not have as many detractors as he does. But it's because of the fact that he constantly begs his fans for money when they themselves are like in a, on a fixed income and our taxes go to pay them and then they take our money and give it to him, and he just takes advantage of them and scams them. That's what pisses people off. Because it's not his money he's spending. That's the problem. If he was working in 9 to 5, that would be his own money. He earned that money. He could do whatever the fuck he wants with that money. But that's not the case. And he's constantly begging them for tips over and over again in support, in crowdfunding. That's where people get upset at. Yeah, some of the people that follow, and it's the same thing with Wings of Redemption. It's like, bro, if you hear about Wings of Redemption from one of the people that's like a Sean Ranklin enjoyer, you're going to think that Wings fucking killed somebody, like last week. And that's just the most recent one. But, like, no, he just eats Wendy's chili and throws controllers around. Who fucking cares? He's smart. He's fucking smart. He, he saw through the bullshit. He's oh, like, what yeah. a dumb thing, you know? But that's, that's the sad fact. Is that's the majority of stuff on the internet about me is that. 
it's it, people it always spinning it to be something it's one not. One hour videos take it out of context it. and misrepresent me. Asmund Gold's oh, yeah. smarter than that. So he was able to look at it and be like, wow, it's just stupid bullshit. And then on, on top of everything, then you gotta be a bunch of negative fucking dicks and do that kind of shit. Get the fuck out of here, seriously. Anyway. Here's the deal. Is that part of the I just stream? summarized, all right? What? what I would like to do, and this is only if what? you guys would like me to, and this is up to you. What we can Straight do is into during begging. this Sunday's marathon, I will do a live react to the Asmund Gold react. Oh, God. In which case, I can add <laughs> the entire context oh, to it. God. Meaning, oh. instead of them cutting out half oh, the fucking conversation, God. I can explain what the oh, full conversation shit. was, how it was in context. You already... <laughs> He already fucking explained what the whole conversation was like five fucking times. You don't like you already did it. You have nothing else to add to it. Shut the fuck up. Jesus. This could be like right? a three hour video. We do that. Oh, it's up to fuck. you though. But I, we don't have to do Here it. But I'm feeling like that's the best time to do it. Because I was thinking about doing it on Saturday, but I was like, no, nah, we already, people want me to watch the clips. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to realize why he hasn't finished the Diablo 4 campaign. <laughs> yeah. They submit. Yeah, you're starting to see it now, now, aren't you? They don't want me taking up their time. You to do another so I think I'm clip starting to get it. Right? So, it's up to you if you guys want it or not. But I think why reacting to what he's saying makes a lot of sense. Because the truth uh -huh. is, a lot of what he's saying is completely good and makes sense. Yeah. If you're watching a video that's out of context, I'm not surprised he reacts that way, right? Oh, there it is. Look, I'll give you one example, okay? When he says, like he's trying to milk this well, if you as much just play as possible, a new release a drama, ton in the first three days of Shadow, you're going to get, get as more as views, you're going to get more money. Drama about that's it. actually not true. Okay. I'm just being honest. It's not true at all. Okay. Um, hey, well, I heard this, it's got to be true. It's not this is hilarious. True. So right. that's actually not true either. I'm right. And the reason why I'm right is if you contextualize it around the fact that there were drops for the game and most people that watch the game for the first few days are watching four drops and then after they get the drops, they're no longer going to watch anymore because the only reason they were there in the first place was for the drops. Uh, and that's what I was speaking in terms of Diablo 4 specifically, right? So uh, that's why I thought it was a better idea to do that because obviously those people like that, that is the best content for the game and delivering the best content at the highest ratio of people that you're going to retain and have watch you that's going to be the best the best option right now usually it depends it depends on the game it depends on how the game's designed etc but uh in terms of twitch I, I think that you know doing really really long streams every single day playing as much as possible is absolutely the right option if you have a game that has drops right seems like lost ark had wow had uh diablo had etc I, this is hilarious because I have to address this because it's so stupid. Yeah. Someone took the dollar and says, you always say things are out of context, but all the clips about you He's are legit. stop letting people donate a dollar because, like, <laughs> the PayPal takes, like, 30 cents out of that. Like, you've got to stop letting people. You've got to make it up to $2, man. Uncut clips from your like, streams. Anybody no... who's going to donate a dollar will donate $2. Editing whatsoever. Don't give him any more tips. You have no clue what Don't give him any more ideas. <laughs> like... The, just the what you said in the tip is so incredibly stupid. It's remarkable how dumb you are to say that. And then he goes on to insult his own audience, and that's another issue a lot of people have issues with. Like, his own people that honestly, like, care about him for whatever fucking reason, and then he insults them, and that's why he has so many fucking detractors, is because he, like, pushed so many fucking people away. I stream. Like, I'm not going to address it. Do you understand what context is? Context does not mean someone edited a clip so it's, you're saying something you're not saying. That's That would actually be like dishonesty. That would be like, for example, you know, cutting up audio clips of someone saying a swear word they never said because they took little blips of things they said and edited it together to make Why it sound like it. Why would anyone care if someone That's swore right? or something? That's not what I'm saying. Have you no idea what context is? Context means in the, the capacity of making sense in a, in a line of discussion, something means one thing. But if you pull it out of that line of discussion, it means completely something else. An example here would be the, the Asmongold thing, no discussion. Number one, I never brought up Asmongold. <laughs> a viewer did, right? It doesn't matter. I didn't matter. know anything at all about Asmongold oh and his situation of streaming or what he played or anything, right, at all. That was someone bringing Hello. it up as a reference, saying, yeah. oh, Asmund Gold's like that. So I'm taking someone's <laughs> word for it. It wasn't a name drop. I didn't drop the name. A viewer did, but that's not yeah. in the clip. The clip cuts that part out where I'm reading off what the viewer <laughs> said. 
that makes it out of context. That's not fair to me. You dumbass. <laughs> what a dumbass. Also, the line of discussion began when people were saying to me, Phil, the reason that people aren't really following along these RPG playthroughs is because you take too long to play the games. If you spent three, four days just playing these games as they released, then maybe you would actually get somewhere because oh you get really far into the games and get through most of them in a few days. Right, and right. a lot of streamers do that. That was the discussion. Yeah. And then my discussion was, well, here's okay. why I don't do that. Because I have a work-life balance, because I have right. a schedule, because I'm a right. variety content creator that juggles multiple games. I would upset a lot of people if I only played one game for three, four days straight. Like, uh -huh. that was the conversation. In context, it makes sense. If you cut that whole early conversation out, all it sounds like is I'm criticizing others for doing things differently than the way that I do it, and I'm trying trying to say that my way is perfect. It's not. I don't have it a whole lot to me. add to this one because I already reacted to the original else. one because I didn't but realize. Again, it's about this was doing already. It he was going to react to that one that before, otherwise context, it would have. It sounds differently than what it is. Skip so the I one can't before this. Understand uh -huh. the concept of context, yeah. but your tip oh, well. shows you have no this idea. This is the last what it video is. anyway. And the fact that you just think that someone takes something that I said <laughs> on a stream without editing it makes it truthful or makes it meaningful or makes it that oh so you said that so therefore we didn't make anything up it just shows how dumb you are this must be true and this must be true and this must be true that's the end of the video i mean you dumbass <laughs> what a dumbass <laughs> also the line fucking god oh my fucking god oh god guys i i got to i got to go i got to get i got to have dinner with my dad i um man i got to oh man uh we're saving that one for later um <laughs> DSP lies. All right, pause. I um, just need to end screen to talk about. All right. So um, that was everything for this particular video. Um, I know that went a little bit long. Um, if I had actually watched this pre... Uh, if I had pre-watched this, I would have skipped the one before the last one. But I didn't. So because I want to keep a fresh perspective on it, I don't want to have this sound scripted because... I don't really like the idea of trying to script these out, honestly. I want to be, like, authentic in reacting to it. Um, but, yeah, so. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to see you all later. I'll probably work on the next video after this. So, hopefully, you'll be up somewhat soon after this. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.